DJ or Anjanette Escobar, and my work um, that I'm showing is uh, an exploration of my personal identity and heritage as a Mexican American uh, citizen of the United States. Um, I, uh, uh, my work is very personal. It's about um, kind of my upbringing in the Rio Grande Valley in South Texas and um, also my culture as a Mexican Catholic. Um, my work is um, I explore my religious cultural identity through my work. I often will use body imagery um, and Milagros as a way to uh, connect to my physical being, um, my being a person in this world with culture and heritage and stories. And um, I treat my work oftentimes as religious objects. And so they have a certain um, sanctity to me. Um, this piece that you're looking at here is called Ma Madre Sagrada, which means sacred mother. And it is a holy water font. And really it's a, a dedication to all of my four mothers. And in some ways, um, the earth as well. Um, I oftentimes will use only parts of the body in my sculptures and in my artwork um, because they, I would like, I'm trying to capture the idea of the milagro, the miracle. Those are, uh, milagros are these little charms that are really votives um, that are placed at the, um, on the altar of the Virgin Mary and in, um, as a promise to, uh, to honor her if she um, hopefully grants miracles in the form of prayers. Um, my pieces are often, I, I treat them like almost like religious objects. Uh, so oftentimes there's a lot of symbolism in them. Some of the symbolism is uh, are symbols that I make up. Like for example, this, this hand with the flames, to me that really is a beacon of hope and optimism. It's called esperanza y optimismo, which means hope and optimism. And um, the English title is respair, which is a new word that I learned and it means new hope. It's kind of a torch for me. Um, I often make work about my mother, my grandmother, my daughter, um, and myself as um, our family's oldest female. Um, and they're, they're, they're packed full of energy, and the energy is love. I want my culture to be seen in this light as a culture that is rich with memory and family and sacredness. Uh, the pieces over on this other wall are uh, have a lot of painting in them. Oftentimes I cannot help myself. I was trained as a sculptor I really cannot help <laughs> but to put 3D objects on paintings sometimes, like this piece here that you see, which is called La Soñadora, which means the dreamer. And I will sculpt objects and stick them on my paintings. <laughs> so I just can't help myself. Um, so these, again, are very Milagro-esque. And um, they're sort of like eyes in the sky. And to me, that symbolizes the world watching and 
Um, they're watching this dreamer and their dreams unfold and, and this dreamer's imagination escaping um, sort of what is already predestined for them. Um, this is my favorite piece in the show right now, and it's called Girl with Devil Mask, and it really is an homage to Frida Kahlo. Uh, she painted um, a painting called Girl with Death Mask, and I, uh, I pretty much set it up very similar to hers. I painted myself as a child in a devil mask, and I set it in the desert southwest in New Mexico where I was born, White Sands, um, and I even included a little Mexican Jaguar, uh, which Frida actually had in this lower right corner. These pieces over here are called Las Fantasmas, or the ghosts, <clears throat> and they really are, um, they're very Frida-esque as well. I was looking at a lot of Frida's dresses and oftentimes when um, I hear people express their love of the Mexican culture, I oftentimes feel like, oh yes, we, we love the costumery, the colors, the food, um, the culture, but sometimes I feel like the love of the Mexican people is sometimes absent. And so I painted these as ghosts. This is uh, the title piece for the show called Casa Escobar. And this is probably the most personal of all of the pieces in the show. This, uh, this house represents my house, my grandmother's house. And um, each one of these, these images represents a memory for me growing up in my grandmother's house. And again, I painted myself as a child. Oftentimes when I dream, I am a child in my dreams. And um, the dreams almost always occur at my grandmother's house. These also look like Loteria cards, which is a Mexican bingo game, and uh, which I played a lot as a child. And the numbers on the card sort of represent uh, different ages that I had some very specific memories um, at about my family. It's a super personal piece and sometimes I get teary when I'm explaining some of the images. You'll have to come down and talk to me about them. <laughs> and this is an installation uh, titled Ex Voto. And um, they are like giant milagros, really. Giant <laughs> votives. Um, and in Europe, when I visited Spain and Portugal, uh, I was blown away by the ex votos in the cathedrals and in the churches that people would go and place there um, with these very important prayers for healing um, and healing, you know, spe specific health issues. Uh, problems in their lives and um, they represent miracles or the hope for miracles. And there's, there's my show. Thank you. Thank you, AJ, <laughs> very much. Congratulations. Thank you. We're gonna...